It's quite a good day today. The sun's shining. It's warm outside. And we've got a 1980 CR80 on the bench. So these are cool things. Same era as the uh, the Red Rocket. Uh, so they came with a red engine. Some silly person has tried painting this one black, but uh, the black paint is flaking away. So they've not done too much, uh, too much damage really to that. Don't know why it's got a blue swing arm. Obviously, at some point the swing arm's been out. Someone's painted it blue for the uh, the red, white, and blue, which would have been the uh, would have been the Hondas. But obviously, this would have originally been in uh, in red. Uh, and they've also they have sprayed the frame uh, the wrong colour red. Uh, you can see the original red here. It's the more like an orangey colour um vin plate still intact so that's not too much of an issue everyone gets these things powder coated but they would have originally been painted so if you're a purist having it painted again is the thing to do uh, but if the thing is going to be used in any way um then uh, powder coat is the thing to do because it's a lot more hard wearing so uh I'm not going to do the spark test for you. I've had a spark in. Kill switch works. She's got good compression. Um, the uh, the rims are in decent shape. The chrome has gone through, so having the rims re-chromed would be a nice idea. The front mud guard is not the original one. The uh, the fork tubes. Uh, have, have pitted, started to rust, so the chrome's gone through on them. So again, having them uh, re-hard chromed or finding another set would be the right thing to do. Um, the pipe looks to be in really good nick. There is no, no dints on the pipe at all, which that would be unheard of in a UK bike. And that is one of the advantages of these bikes from America. Uh, they generally ride in a lot less stony conditions. They do have stones and rocks, obviously, but uh, yeah, they ride in a lot of sand, so uh, the things don't get to, don't get damaged as much. Uh, there's a bit of a dent in the tank there. This is a steel tank, and uh, inside, I mean, it won't come out on the video, but inside there is surface rust now. Uh, I use a product called X-Rust 7. Um, you basically, you, you dilute it down with water. It's an enzyme. It eats away at the rust. And uh, that would clean that tank out perfectly. It's not rusted through or anything like that. It is only surface rust on the inside. And there's a patch of rust under the seat there. So, I mean, it'd be a nice thing to get that, to, to get the tank repainted. Um yeah, she looks to be in generally very good condition. I mean, again, the rear rim, that has also, the chrome has gone through. The shocks are going to need a rebuild. I can't see exactly whether the shock shafts have, have gone, but they may or may not have. Uh, someone will be able to make a new set of shafts if, if they have, or, or you could find a replacement set of shocks. Uh, side panels are original. Not perfect, but they are original. And uh, the rear mud guard is cracked, so that's going to need a replacement. Seat cover, obviously a little bit split, they always are. And uh, the airbox cover is missing. Um, let's see if we can set the camera up to do the gearbox test. There's a six-speed box on this bike. Gorgeous, these old, little old CR80s. Absolutely love them. Brilliant, brilliant bikes. My kids aren't quite ready for an 80 yet, but uh, I've got a little uh, CR60. I've got two CR60s coming back this time, two 83 CR60s, and there's one with a Jeremy McGrath sticker on the rear mud guard. And so I've promised one of my kids that he can ride that this year. So he's absolutely desperate for it to come back. And I can't blame him. So we're in neutral at the minute. Into first. Back into neutral, second gear, 
third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear. That's the top of the gearbox. Back down to fifth, fourth, third, second, and neutral. So the gearbox is working fine. It's selecting all the gears. I'm assuming it will uh, will ride uh, with those gears, uh, no problem. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just. I'm gonna go and put my dogs in so they don't start barking because uh, they love barking at bikes, unfortunately, and trying to eat the uh, the fumes that come out of the exhaust. Um, and uh, we'll get a run in. Here we go. So I always run these off uh, fresh fuel. Just a flipping nightmare if you run them off uh, what could be really old fuel in the tank. And <clears throat> I always run them off this bottle. I know it's clean and, and everything, so. really good doesn't she really really good i mean uh, i'd be tempted not to build rebuild that engine i'd be tempted to literally just uh well try and get that black paint off and uh tidy it up a little bit and um stick it back in the bike obviously the rest of the bike needs a bit of work but uh that engine sounds mega really really good really chuffed with that 